Okay, hello, good evening, I'm just setting everything up, so if you're joining me, hopefully you got the notification, if not, then, um, I don't know, um, I just noticed that um, for some reason this um, live stream was set for um, 1970, um, the year 1970, I don't know what happened there. I definitely did not set it to be in the past. I don't know how that happened, but hopefully you got the notification or something like that. Cause when I set it this morning, um, it was supposed to be for, um, this evening. So I don't know what happened there. I'm just trying to get myself on, um, up on my screen so that I can, um, read all of your comments. Hello. Okay. So we have people joining. That's lovely. Good evening. Hello, Claire. I'm okay. Thank you. Pamela. Hi. Creating crafts for fun. Uh, just joining in. Um, if you're new to my channel, I don't know, say hello. If you've never seen me before, then hi, <laughs> my name is Yvette and I, um, create things, um, here on this channel and today we are going back to basics I have my little plywood tags um, these are from um, my sister's shop so she has a shop where she sells um, MDF and plywood things um, on Etsy they are called buy mix crafts on Etsy so if you want to check them out go google them um, or Etsy them um, so we're gonna create some little ah dropped it here <laughs> super cute <laughs> tags and we're actually going to do some napkin decoupage today so um i haven't done napkin decoupage in a very long time now um i want to say it's been about a year i think since i've done um some napkin decoupage so it's been a long time um I want to go back to basics and um, I know that a lot of beginners, that's where we all start in decoupage, we start with napkins a lot of the time. So uh, maybe I can share some things if you haven't um, learned them yet about napkin decoupage. So I don't know, I hope that this video will be helpful for people. Oh my god, there's so many uh, messages that I've missed. Um, hello, okay, you got this mess, the notification, okay, that that's good. Um. Hi Terry, Eileen, hello, Basma, hi, um, Marcia, hello, Evelyn, <laughs> hello, how are you? Uh, oh, Francis, you're new to my channel, okay, well, welcome to my channel, I hope that you will find um, this helpful, if not, then if you um, scroll back, um, on my channel through the videos. I've done a lot of pre-recorded videos in the past. Nowadays I don't really have much time to do pre-recorded videos so live streams is kind of what I've resorted to. <laughs> but um, if you prefer live stream format I've done um, over the past year I've uploaded over a um, hundred videos onto this channel so there's a lot to go through. Um, I want to say a hundred? No, maybe not a hundred. Maybe we're over 50. No, wait, around about 100. I want to say it was 100. Anyways, there's a lot of videos to go through. Um, hello from Arkansas. Hi, Linda. Um, okay. Hi, Yoyoti. Good to see you. Okay, so I need to flick the light on. Um, there you go. That's better. You can actually see me now. Um, oh my God, for some reason on my computer, the quality is horrific. Um... Can you see me okay? Because on my th on my phone everything seems fine. On my computer I'm very very blurry. So I hope that it's just me and my connection. Hi, Catherine. It's so good to see you. Okay, right. I am. Oh no, I'm blurry. Hi, Cynthia. I hope that it's going to change over time. Um. Anyways, I'm going to flip this over so that you can see what I am uh, doing all the way over here. Uh, a bit shaky for a minute while I sort them. So, going to get a little... Okay, so, now I need to straighten 
this thing out. Okay, so my mat is straight. Now I need to straighten out my camera a little bit so that you're not super wonky. All right, there we go. So I hope that this is going to work. Um, only happened when you switch the light on for a moment. Okay. So I... Hi, I'm Sanju. Back again with Bang On. Hi, okay. Evelyn Warner. Hi, new here. Okay. Hi. <laughs> yeah, now we have two Evelyns. Okay, on my computer, um, things look clear now. So I hope that this means everybody else can see me clear too. So let's um, kind of start cracking on with this. So I picked out some um, napkins. These napkins are actually from Eileen. Um, Eileen, thank you. I went through the stash today because, you know, uh, Eileen sent me a lovely package with some of her napkins because she was de-stashing. So um, I, um, I finally got around to actually going through them, having a look, and I felt in, I was in the mood for some napkin decoupage, so I thought this is perfect. Okay, this is annoying me. Um, this is very crooked. I'm going to try and fix it. I don't know if it's going to be better or worse. Okay, is this better or worse? Oh my god, I haven't even moved it that much on my f um, in real life, but I don't know. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. You can see a little bit of my keyboard, uh, but it's okay. Um... <laughs> Hi, Evelyn and Evelyn. <laughs> it is a really beautiful napkin. Um... Okay, I'm trying to get my second light to work. Right, so before we crack on with the napkins, um, we need to paint our bases white. So as you can see, these are made out of plywood, three millimeter plywood, blah, 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 plywood. Um, it is light in color, but it needs to be lighter because napkins are very, very thick. Uh, thick? I don't know what I'm saying today. Um, very thin, especially once you apply water on them and glue and stuff. Everything is going to come through. The color underneath is going to come through. We want that color to be white because look at the difference. So on my mat, when I hold the napkin, especially we need to take the... We're only going to be using the um, top layer, the one that has the print on it so we separate it and look at how the napkin looks when I put it on the dark background here on my mat and then I move it onto the white and the colors pop straight away instantly it gives you that like backlight right so th it's the exact same concept whenever you decoupage a napkin onto a surface always make sure that you paint your surface a light color so a light gray a light like a beige will be fine but ideally white so i need to grab the some gesso so i'm just gonna take some white gesso um just bought this from hobbycraft um a few weeks ago so I'm testing it out to see whether I like it or not. So this is, um, a lot of people say that it's really good gesso and I found it, it works really well as gesso. It is quite sheer as gesso usually is, um, but I don't know. It's, it's much like thinner than Finnabar's heavy gesso. So, um, it's nice for these kind of jobs, right? It's, um, it gives you a, a smoother finish. So I'm just going to paint one side because I want to decoupage, do napkin decoupage on one side of my tags. And then I want to do something else on the back. I don't know yet what I want to do, whether I just want to paint the back um, or if I want to... Um, glue something else on on the back. I don't know yet. We'll see. I took out this paper pad um, Just to see if maybe we can cut out um, Something from there to glue on on the back because I would like these to be 
I don't know. I, I want these tags to be like usable in terms of that you can um, like write on it and write a nice message on it. Um, so maybe um, like decoupage a napkin onto one side and then do something that's a little bit less patterned but still pretty on the back side so that you can write on it and then imagine um, you know just adding a little tag like this to somebody's present and then write a really really sweet little message on the back and the person that receives that message receives that present um, can also keep the tag as like a little ornament with your handwritten note on the back um so yeah <laughs> or oh you know what i just thought um if you get some chalkboard paint you know the what uh, the black chalkboard paint um to to like decoupage on the front and then do black chalkboard uh, paint on the back then it can be a reusable tag and then you uh, gift it to somebody you write their name on the back and then um, they can take it and then they can pass it on to somebody else when they um, Gift a gift to somebody <laughs> And write the other person's name and then it can be a reusable pretty tag um, There you go ideas free ideas <laughs> anybody? <laughs> or um, some um, eco-friendly uh, reusable gift tanks there you go um, okay hey <laughs> working too much but trying to craft and clean also while the weather is good right summer is that that time now where everybody's trying to get as much done as possible while the weather's okay <laughs> that's been us as well here so i'm just quickly applying the second coat of gesso over the top um magnetic paint and a magnet oh my god i've never heard of a magnetic paint i know you can get magnetic strips like you know and then cut it out but magnetic paint never heard of that that's interesting Weather is a bit cold and rainy in London. Oh, it's it's very similar over here. It's not cold. It's quite warm, but it's been very cloudy and it keeps raining a little bit. I'm quite disappointed. I, I'm, I'm ready for the heat wave to come back. I know that a lot of people don't like the heat wave, <laughs> but I'm here for it. I'm ready for it to come back. I just bought two dresses um, and now they're sitting in the wardrobe. Um, so, you know, I just bought them. I'm ready to use them. Hello, <laughs> Summer, come back. <laughs> um, hope everybody's okay and having a great summer. Well, same. I hope that you are okay, Catherine, and you're having a good summer so far and that you're having a better um, time now than you was a few months ago because I know that you was going through um, some changes in life so I hope that you have now kind of stabilized and you're getting back into into the groove of things and um, I saw that you um, got a really really lovely package with some orders and getting back into crafting and that makes me really really happy I hope that you are also having a really good summer so far. Um, uh, I like the chalkboard paint idea. Oh, good. <laughs> Weather is a bit hot and rainy in Texas. Oh, I know. I can't even imagine what it must be like to live in a place that's always so hot. Right, I'm just going to get my heat gun out. Ah, I keep banging everything today. It's one of those days. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's just one of those days for my body today. Um, it does not want to cooperate. 
that is sad. Here in Sweden, we have a great summer. Oh my God, I never thought I would say that, but I'm ready to go to Sweden for Swedish summer. Really cold here too in Wales. It's a little hot, but sunny here in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, I can, I can only try and imagine what it must be like to live in a place that's always so hot. I've never lived in it or been to a place that's always um, so hot. I've only ever really lived in like, you know, within like the same, um, uh, what do you call it? The same like weather zone <laughs> belt, whatever they're called. <laughs> okay, right, so two coats on. I wanna put another coat on. So see, that that's the thing with, I really need to buy some more white um, chalk paint. I need to get myself down to Wilco's and get some white um, chalk paint. Or I have seen that some people are using Dulux acrylic paint they buy it from like the the hardware store and it's it's like acrylic paint so um i may need to instead of going to wilco's i may um go and try and get some of that dulux stuff that i saw people use and then i'll report back to you um if it's any good or not not emulsion but like acrylic um because this is the gesso is great for priming, not very good for coverage. And right now, um, all I have is um, white heavy gesso from Finaba and this gesso. And so that's uh, not the ideal situation right now. Use magnetic paint for special needs students. Oh, yeah, I can imagine it can probably get really, really handy. Come to the US, triple digits in Northwest and West. Oh, you know, I would love to, I'd happily. I'm, I'm coming over. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm booking the tickets. Hot and humid in Arkansas. Let's all go to Catherine's house. I agree. Catherine's house sounds lovely. I've never been to Sweden as well. It's such a shame because I, 16 years of my life, I lived literally across, across the 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 sea <laughs> from Sweden and never um, got anywhere. Ah, I'm on track, thank you, but now I have to work a lot. I hope it'll get better after the summer. I know, it sucks, doesn't it? It would be so nice if we could just um, craft all day. <laughs> but then real life gets in the way, how rude. Hotter than usual in Alberta, Canada this week is high 30s. Wow. Normally I'm just in the mid-twenties, yeah, yeah. That's that global warming. Unfortunately. <gasps> 41 point, Jesus Christ. Okay, you win, Evelyn, you win. only 107 in phoenix i don't know what that is in celsius but it sounds really hot <laughs> uh, guys that is too hot i don't know how you manage oh well mind you you guys over there in in the us you all have um air conditioning and all sorts of mod cons that we don't get here <laughs> We're over here, um, whenever it gets really hot, our only saving grace is a fan and like a water sprayer, <laughs> a bottle, <laughs> no, a mister bottle. Okay, so I've got my file. I'm gonna cut this because it's a bit too big. Um, right, so. I've got my napkin. Now, let me see. If I place them like that, the napkin does not cover 
four at the same time, not big enough. So we'll have to do two and two. So we can spread them out however we want to. So set them, use my mat. I always need to remind myself to like that. I have this very handy mat over here that I can use to make sure that things are nice and straight. I'm still getting used to it. I think this will look really nice, right? Or like that, because then we get a little bit of writing on this one. What do you think? I think, and then we get the butterfly. All right. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna place my napkin upside down on the on the plastic file thingy, thingy majiggy, and then I'm going to pour some water onto it. Get a brush. And so I've got a nice generous pool of water over here. Jeez, I hope that I'm not gonna mess this up because this napkin seems very, very thin. Seems like it is, it's not one of the stronger ones. And I am a very heavy handed person and I haven't done this in, a, in about a year, so no. Cross your toes and your fingers for me. Okay, I need more water over here, otherwise it's gonna rip. Use the brush. This bit has folded in on itself. So I need to straighten it back out. Um, never been to England, feels like I'm the only Swedish person. <laughs> Not gone there. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's probably quite a popular destination for um, for Swedes. I don't know why. Right, okay, so now I need to very carefully try and get as many bubbles out from underneath there as I possibly can. So I'm holding my brush by the tip, as you can see, so that then... Um, because then it like minimizes the pressure um, from my hand. It kind of allows you to have a very light touch. Um, Peggy wins. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that is in what Peggy's temperature in Phoenix is. Um, in Celsius, so you'll have to um, you'll have to convert that to somebody <laughs> so that I know. And the referee over here. So somebody, please tell me. This bit does not want to straighten out. Oh please! Oh please! Oh please! Come on! There we go. Come on, be a good napkin. Right, so, uh, I think it's, no, we've got some here, some big ones here, okay, I think we've got the majority off, now this is the tricky bit, I need to lift this up, and, ah, ah, spill, 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 spill. Okay. It's okay. This is what happens when you don't practice for a very long time. Should have seen my first ever attempt at this method. I was such a mess. Okay, right, so most of the water is off. So now I just kind of gently Straighten it back out. So, a tip. Tip number one, if you're doing this method, always have a cloth ready to pick up any spills. And then I... 
it's over 40 Celsius. Oh my god, okay, well, that is yes, you both win, okay. <laughs> Love to go to Basel to my Sunday weather is very fresh and hot. You love watching this method. <laughs> okay, right. Hi. Hello, Vicky. How are you? Yeah, that is very hot. Um, Vicky, how hot is it in Greece? Right, so I've got most of the water off. Now I need to straighten these back up. So I'm holding my napkin and now we're just gonna place it and yeah, whatever. Whatever will be, will be. See, I got a rip over there in the corner there. Um, okay, let's pop this on. And I roll the plastic file off. And now I can pick up my tags. My light just went. Uh, let's put it back on. Um, hi, Deborah. How are you? Joanna, no one can beat my weather. It's 44, 45 where I live. And in July, August is 47, 48. Oh my goodness. How do you survive? And where do you live? Um, I need to know so that I can plan my visits appropriately. <laughs> if I ever decide to come, I need to be... Um, at least I'll know to um, to bring a fan with me or something. You're in a volcano. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> no further questions. <laughs> All right. So I'm just removing kind of the excess napkin so that it's not sticking to um, the tables and all of that. Okay. So now I'm going to get the Mod Podge out. You can also use any other decoupage glue or um, varnish over the top just to seal it. And again, this is still one of the most commonly asked questions um, on my napkin decoupage videos. I'm going to have to let that cat in in a second because he's breaking the door. So one of the most um, commonly asked questions about this napkin application method is do you not need um, to apply glue underneath and the answer is no you do not because the napkin is so thin that the glue and it's and it's wet so all of the fibers are kind of spread apart right um, the, the glue when you apply it over the top it basically um, seals everything it seeps through the napkin and um, it's plenty enough of um, of like gluing down for it to stay down. Because again, just remember that you're not gluing down a piece of paper, you're not gluing down a card, you're gluing down like a really, really thin, flimsy piece of um napkin is it, I can't even call it paper <laughs> right hang on a second I need to let that cat in before he breaks the door into the room and straight outside okay 
so that's two tags done with the, the decoupage now we can move on to the next one so now i need to cut another piece off I've missed decoupaging with napkins, you know, it's it's not something that I usually nowadays do much um, But there's like This feels so nice. It's just going back to the basics going back to um, The simplicity of it of it all I live in the beautiful, oh, Arab Emirates, okay, in the capital Abu Dhabi, but most people know Dubai. Um, well, I've, I've, I've heard, I know of both of them, <laughs> but I think most people think of Dubai um, just because it's, it's so popular, isn't it? It's such a popular tourist destination. You should visit between October and March. You will love it and mostly enjoy the beach. Noted, if I ever... Um, have the money to, <laughs> to go to the emirates i will definitely thank you i'll do it in between october and march love london been there several times and i miss it so much it is very nice in london i must say i'm not um i don't think i would be able to live in london not with the lifestyle that i lead personally but it's so nice to visit and i'm a typical i don't know I'm a typical tourist girl. I love um, I love going to all of the tourist attractions and um, the London Eye and um, you know just walk by the Buckingham Palace and do all of the checklist things and um, and all of that. It just I don't know. It feels really nice for for me um, who grew up literally in you know in. In Eastern Europe, middle of nowhere, um, never seen anything like that. Every time I visit London, it's like, oh my god! So, so you can actually live like that. <laughs> this is this is this is allowed. <laughs> so yeah, I agree. I love London too. In fact, I don't think I've ever been to a city um or a place that i did not find something in that i liked <laughs> yeah hello and bye he never st stops by for very long over here at this time in the evening it's a uh, it's a uh, let me in into the living room so that i can go outside in the garden Dubai is wild. Abu Dhabi is laid back but lovely. You can find great um, office to visit. Oh, oh well, <laughs> right now we're not going anywhere, are we? Yeah, I hope that um, I hope that by the time this whole thing settles down, I'll be in a position where um, I'll be able to travel more. Cause um, in my life and again i don't know this is probably not the content that you came for <laughs> but i've got to talk about something um f throughout my life i've never really been in a financial position to um, be able to afford to travel to many places um so um i really hope that by the time that this whole thing will be over and we'll be allowed to travel I'll be in a more of a position to be able to um, get out there and actually see the world um, for myself and not just through, um, you know, TV programs and um, other people's experiences. Always wanted to go to England. I would love to see the countryside. I have no desire to go to London. That is fair enough. Well, there is, luckily for you, there is plenty to do in the countryside in the UK. <laughs> and there is plenty of beautiful, absolutely stunning, gorgeous 
um, places to go to, um, not just the, in England, but like in the whole of UK. Um, it's, it's filled with beautiful, beautiful spots. And again, like, um, that's probably my favorite part about being, uh, living here now, um, in UK is the fact that, um, again, the nature is so beautiful here. Um, there's not a lot of it in the, in the bigger cities. Um, there's no like, you know, miles of forest or whatever, something like that. But the places where you, um, where there is nature, like the national parks and the beaches, oh, beautiful. Oh God, I could go anywhere right now. I was just saying that to a friend yesterday that I, I feel like I could, I, I want to go anywhere <laughs> at this point. We literally haven't left the town that I live in, in a year now. Um, and last year we managed to venture out like 30 minutes outside of where I live to, um, to take a trip to the beach like two times and, um, and that's about it. <laughs> I feel like I've been <laughs> stuck inside for way too long. Don't like big cities. Well, Catherine, come to Norwich. It's not a big city. <laughs> and that's where I live. So, um, and we have a lot of beautiful um, architecture and other things to see here. Um, where I live, um, I've moved now. I live in a different, slightly different part of um, the city. But where I lived before in the flat, um, I lived like 10 minutes away from the main cathedral um, um, in Norwich, which is um, uh, about a thousand year old. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's a lot of historic things to see. And we have a castle. It's not very impressive. <laughs> it's only a little square at the top of the hill, but it still counts. That is what we did right round London to Stratford. Yeah, anytime, Catherine, you know that. Anytime. Okay. So, second set of napkins is almost on. Now I just need to. Remove the excess and apply some Mod Podge and we can move on to the to the further steps. I'm not going to do them like make them any kind of uh, fancy or anything. I want to keep them quite simple because um, I guess I, I more want to show a some some simple quick ideas for you guys and I feel I'm in a mood for something very simple today. Right, let's wipe all of this water up. I uh, would love to see stuff like that. Yeah, it's it is pretty nice. It's pretty nice, but mind you, in the US, like the the. I would love to um, go on, you know, like a road trip um, anywhere in the US because you guys have the most amazing, beautiful nature. Um, and, you know, of course, um, the big ticket items like, you know, the big cities and stuff. I would love to um, go and, and have a have a wander through those, but mostly for the nature. I mean, yeah. Definitely, you guys um, have miles and miles and miles and miles of it, so. Eh. I'd be happy to drive to, to a nearby park at this rate. <laughs> Love all the pictures you put out from Norwich. Yeah, we <laughs> don't really, since we've moved here, um, in, into the house and we now have a garden. We don't really go for walks as much, but oh guys, you'll be so proud of me. I've been going 
um, for runs. Um, I, I've picked up running again um, and um, I've gone, I've been on six runs in the past like 10 days so I am very proud of me and I think that um, if you were proud of me that would be very nice too because <laughs> I haven't done any physical like exercises or anything in about the past four years so it's it's, it's tough but I keep reminding myself that this is self-love this is what self care and self love um looks like sometimes because keeping yourself in a in a good physical shape um is also self care and self love self love is not only um eating cake and getting your nails done it's also making sure that your body stays healthy <laughs> uh Follow a German couple on YouTube who live in UK and I've seen and learned so much from them and they visit such be places, beautiful places here. Yeah, you know what? It's funny you say that because it happens so often. I think I'm just getting a, this is one of my clay tools, but it has a really nice pointy sharp bit to just get into these holes and open them up. Um, it so often happens that people that um, live in the country permanently or that were born in the country um, explore it way less than people who um, have um, migrated and um, have like relocated to live in a place. Um, I was really the same um, in Latvia. I haven't really, well, that was less t to do with me um because you know i moved when i was 16 so i didn't really have much choice um i didn't get options to just go and travel by myself but i have only really been to a few places in latvia there's lots of beautiful places but i've never seen them um and then since i've moved to to the uk i've explored the uk more than i explored my um home country <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Proud as a peacock. <laughs> Thank you. What helps is decent paintbrushes. I have cheap ones for now, but just wait. Um, definitely, that is definitely one of those um, things that you don't really think about. Um, but they really, really do matter. Um, I have an example right here. Um, so I, um, a cheap brush and it's like the bristles are horrible. They're so like fray and, um, uneven and a more expensive brush. And this brush is way older. This one, this brush is at least two years older than this one. And the difference in the bristles is just, wow. Um... Have a lovely evening, everyone. Keep up the awesome work. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for joining us tonight. As I've just finished eating my Monday night pizza. <laughs> That's okay. We had pizza on Saturday. Um, I said that I go for runs. I never said that I've uh, started eating healthy. So, <laughs> mind you, I had a whole punnet of strawberries all to myself today. Because Aaron bought them yesterday and they started to go, uh, like a few of them started to go bad already today. So I thought I can't waste them. And nobody else eats strawberries in my house but me. So I ate a whole punnet and guess what? Tonight I went out to the shop and bought more. Um, and I ate a caramel wa wafer thing. So... Right, I need to sand down the excess. Where's my nail file? Again, Eileen put these little nail files in my package once she sent the napkins. Um, and it's amazing. It's amazing. I love it so much. Okay, before I do that, I need to dry the glue because it's still a bit wet. Uh, 
Yes, during COVID, exercise has helped a lot in keeping busy with a hobby or something. I also do artwork and I love watching your work too. Well, thank you so much. And I'm glad that you've been keeping up and like actually getting some exercise done and all of that because it really does. It, may, it puts you in a much better place. <laughs> Thanks, Eileen. <laughs> I'm in New Zealand, it's freezing, can you send me some hair? Don't hear, please, thanks. Wow, New Zealand, oh my god, I'm so jealous. I would love to one day visit New Zealand. You guys have the ultimate nature. Um, I, like, I, I don't think I'd be able to leave, like I may get in trouble if I go visit New Zealand because I'll have a big problem leaving it because you guys have the most beautiful um, nature never, and, and you know the quality of life at least from um, what we see on the media um, for most people um, you guys have a, a pretty decent <laughs> quality of life over there, which is um, also, you know, so I'm jealous, can you tell? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to use this nail file to file down the excess napkin over here. <laughs> also, yes, I can absolutely send some hair down. Um, to you because um, I have plenty of it. At least you're exercising and younger. Well, yeah, I've only just started exercising. I don't have any like clothes or anything to exercise in, so I keep like having to um, wash the same like t-shirt and everything and and um, joggers that I have. <laughs> You know why? It's not that I can't buy more clothes, it's that I don't trust myself to buy more clothes yet. Like, I need to keep this up for a few weeks before I can go out and spend money on exercise clothes. Because, like, I know myself well enough to know that I, um, that I may not be able to keep this up. Um, and then I don't want it to go to waste. So I have told myself I have to stay in these clothes for another week and then if I can keep running through and like keep this up then um, I'm gonna go and actually buy myself some proper exercise um, clothes and stuff because I do feel like a bit of a tramp <laughs> when I go for a run because everybody around me um, going for a run is like you know wearing the fancy leggings and tops and they have the cool like arm strap to put their phone um into and i'm over there you know in my um pajama t-shirt oh heat okay <laughs> i can hand you, send you some hair as well <laughs> But heat, yeah, we don't have much over here, so I'm afraid. Um, not, not, not me. The girls from um, Arizona um, or Arkansas, maybe Texas. Can you share some? Right, they are already very beautiful, and you don't need to do much. Like you could at this point, you can um, just add like a dark edge around, and that's it. Is it cold? It is cold here in Wales. <laughs> it's supposed to be summer. Yeah, in a, at least in New Zealand, it's winter right now. So, like, it's appropriate for you guys to be cold. It's not, um, not so much over here. Feel that way about Hawaii and never coming home. Oh, I feel you. Oh, Leanne, hello. How are you? Um, just like to fit into my everyday clothes rather than my PJs. Well, same. Hence why I've started running is because I am now at the point where... Um, 
I am um, struggling to fit into my normal wardrobe um, and I really don't want to have to go out and replace uh, my whole wardrobe and size up, especially now because with my body shape and size, I really struggle to uh, buy things online that fit me properly. Um, it's a real pain in the ass because I have to order like seven things and then hope that maybe one of them will fit and then send them back. So it's it's not a great situation um, overall. And in most shops right now, um, all of the, um, or at least, I don't know if they are or not actually, uh, but at least last time I went shopping, um, all of the fitting rooms are closed and all of that. So like I can't try anything on, so uh, I don't know. Mind you, I haven't been in town or um, to a clothes shop. Um, since last summer, so um, I don't know. Things may have changed. If they've changed, let me know because I'll go out and buy some clothes. <laughs> I'm quite sweet as. <laughs> You're sending anyone your hair <laughs> on the top of the list, please. <laughs> yeah, definitely. One day when I shave it all off, when I get so um, angry at it that I shave it all off. I've been so close, so many times in my life now. Me too, I'd love to visit Wales. Mm. Oh, you live in Florida. Oh, you must have really nice weather, but... Mind you, like, what is the climate like over there? Does it, is it, um, it's very humid, isn't it? I guess it probably depends on which part of Florida you are. I don't know. Because I know that every time I think about US, um, I think that, you know, each state or whatever is going to have its own, like, climate. But, like, because uh, the states are so big that like you guys have the, your own climate zones within each state <laughs> so then I could really do with some heat yeah all of us Leanne <laughs> they're really um, teasing us with, the, with that heat <laughs> I was editing a video and got lost a bit oh no but you found your way out <laughs> East of Orlando, okay. Again, I've never been. I would love to. <laughs> Visited Orlando for a hockey game, Winter Gardens, and East is in Keys, and Naples love what I've seen just to have warmth on my bones. Yeah. Yes, we all did. Oh, by the way, um, so um, if anybody over here um, is um, uh, interested in joining a design team or anything like that, Decopass Queens, so the design team that I'm a part of, um, Decopass Queen is the brand that makes uh, rice papers, really, really great quality rice papers. Um, they have also started releasing scrapbooking papers and we are currently looking for one, uh, maybe possibly two um, scrapbookers to join our team. Um, so paper crafters, scrapbookers, um, anything like that, you know, the tip is your um, more kind of typical not decoupage but more scrapbooking um way um kind of thing so we're currently looking for people to join our team if you are interested or would like to find out more information um type in decoupage queen on facebook and on decoupage queen page it will be right at the top it's pinned to the top of the page it will be right there so it will tell you how to apply 
to be on our team and I really encourage everybody that feels like you could maybe do this or uh, you could you would be interested in joining the team I would really encourage everybody to send in an application because you never know you may just get picked we are looking for um, for amazing artists amazing people um, to join our family so yeah um, send in your applications uh, okay the conversation has gone too far I can't I don't know where <laughs> uh, okay um, Leanne was just a guest designer on Decoupage Queen just uh, this past weekend you wouldn't care about it's gorgeous <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know. Leanne goes there every year on a holiday. We're not jealous at all. <laughs> okay, right. So I finally sent down all of the edges. I don't know. Now we need to sort out the back. We need to figure out what we're doing with the back. Um, I don't know. I, th I think I'm just going to paint them, you know. Um, I don't feel like... If I paint them in like... Um, What colour should I use? I'm feeling, hang on a sec. I'm just gonna grab some paint. I have my craft supplies all over the room nowadays. some of this Vera at the ballet from Paint Couture because um, I have lots of it and you guys know I like when I have lots of paint because I don't I feel like I can use it and not run out um, so I'm just gonna paint the back in this nice pretty pink color and then maybe we can hmm, We'll do the edges with some brown wax. Um, maybe add... Oh yeah, I think we'll add some paint splatters on the back and the front, actually. And then... Um, what else could we add? A stamp would look really, ba uh, really nice on the back as well. Hmm... It is a very, very beautiful pink. It's probably the best pink that um, I've seen um, in, in, or like, you know, my, my favorite pink. <laughs> Maybe not the best because everybody has their own idea of what is best, but like one of my favorite pinks that I've seen. And um, I say that as somebody that um, used to despise pink color um i don't really i'm not a very girly girl so um throughout my teenage years i refused um to have anything to do um with pink so um you know almost it's it's growing on me slowly i'm becoming a little bit more feminine from time to time <laughs> but um yeah it's a really really pretty color as I've grown older, I've grown to appreciate um, colours for what they are, or paint for what it is, <laughs> and not discriminate against pink. Um, uh, oh, hang on, hang on. I've missed somebody. Hi, Maggie! From, um, to to Topica or Topeka, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it in uh, Kansas. Thank you so much. Oh yes, thank you, Leanne. Thank you. <gasps> tornado, uh, tornado warnings the other day. Oh no. Hope the paper you choose, I don't have the Halloween papers yet, but the colors and the signs are gorgeous. Oh, thanks, Catherine. 
<laughs> yeah, we know that, Leanne. <laughs> Pink is, um... Not for everybody. I think it's probably, like, for me, it's more to do with the fact that um, my mom always tried to keep me, um, you know, in a very, like, a... She wanted me to be a very, very girly girl. Um, and... I'm a, I'm a rebel. <laughs> uh, you know, I like to do the opposite of what people um, want me to do. So, um... I think that was like my part of my rebellion as a teenager was that my mom wanted me to be pink and frilly and I was like nah, black black eyes panda eyes black everything crosses on everything <laughs> that is from my old emo days definitely <laughs> mind you I think my emo days are coming back I think I'm going through um for a rebirth of um, of my emo stage, um, slightly different, a little bit more mature, um, not so panda eyes, but I, I could I could definitely go back to stripy, um, what do you call them, like long gloves, fingerless gloves, and and um, well, I I wear contours all day every day, anyways, but. Um, and skinny jeans, or at least I used to until I gained, mo gained weight. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways. Oh, you use the same way, but now I love, yeah, I think it's love pink shabby chic that writes your, with your shabby chic living room. You can't say it anything, <laughs> Leah. <laughs> with your, um, pink shabby chic, oh, not pink, but with your shabby chic living room colors uh it's a tan not a tourist place but just it's getting the right shade of pink yeah that is very true that is very true i don't think i'll be um i'll ever be able to um enjoy like a you know a very um acid um hot pink type of thing um, this is more like a baby pink, um, which is lovely. <laughs> my mom got fed up with me coming home with ripped dresses and <laughs> stains on my butt. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got to do what you've got to do. It's, uh, it's a part of life isn't it whatever your parents want you to be um most of us just want to do the opposite don't we it didn't help that my parents used to send me to the countryside for um three months at a time in the summer and you know like i can't dress up in there what's the point in dressing up when i'm there <laughs> And that's why I never developed a fashion sense. It's more of a creeper than him. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, right. So we've got the pink. I'm gonna add some paint splatters with some liquid acrylics now because I'm lazy. Um, now, what I'm going to do now, you don't have to do it with liquid acrylics. You can very easily do this with just watered down acrylic paint. But I'm lazy, so I use liquid acrylics because they are already liquidy. I don't need to water anything down and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to set my tags close to each other. I'm going to take a dry natural bristle brush and a bamboo skewer and i'm gonna go like this and add some paint splatters with some this is omba so brown liquid acrylic it can't get any more shabby chic than this right 
We've got the paint splatters going, we've got the roses, we've got the pink, we've got the butterflies. Um, we've gone full shabby chic over here tonight. Oh my god, Evelyn, you've only just realised. It is Claire. <laughs> She's um, hiding. I don't know who is... Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, Claire. I don't know who you're hiding behind, but... <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it's actually my first name but always been known as Claire oh um, what what do you mean that's your actual first name how did I never how did I never know that Iwen Irwin Irwin Okay, it's a Welsh name, right? It is Welsh. So um, I'm probably butchering it horribly. Please don't hate me. <laughs> Please still be my friend. <laughs> Even if I mis mispronounce your name. Right, so that's some paint splatters done. Let's dry this. Arwen. Arwen, okay. I don't I, I I think for me I really struggle with like the pronouncing the R. I can either pronounce the R in the way that English people pronounce it where it's like non existent, it's like an R but uh like a long A or I can pronounce it as a R like a Russian R. <laughs> I can't <laughs> do in between. <laughs> uh, so um, and I really struggle to put the I and the R together. It's, um, I think it takes skill. <laughs> she is very cheeky. She went full incognito on us and we didn't even know. Good as I like to see these are the product users, never sure when and where to use. Yeah, well, I'm still learning a lot about. Um, okay, this is dry. I'm still learning about uh, liquid acrylics myself. Um, right, so I'm going to turn them over and I'm going to add a few paint splatters on this side as well. Otherwise, we've got the back all shabby chiced out and then the front is all. Um, you know, clean and tidy, and that's not gonna go very well. That's not gonna slide, uh, not under my watch. Mm -mm. No, no, right. So that's done, right? So, really, at this point, if you wanted to do it full on classic decoupage, um, and do it properly your proper job then you would want to wait for this to dry um, and seal it with several coats of varnish on both sides um, however I'm lazy and I don't have time to wait for it to dry so I'm just going to move on to the next step and at the end of the day I don't have time to do these are tags right so um they're not, I don't think they're going to get like a lot of wear and tear. So I'm going to take my um, dark wax. So you guys know I um, like to use Liberon's black wax a lot. But I finally managed to score this in B&Q. It was in stock. Um, so I finally got me some dark wax. And um, I'm going to use that instead because it's like a it's not you know black wax is black wax it's black um this is a dark brown hang on i'll dry this quickly to make sure that i don't smudge any of the liquid acrylic that i applied uh sounded proper welsh there <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um It's very nice to have friends, so please <laughs> be my friend. <laughs> don't, don't disown me. 
if I mispronounce your names, I don't mean it. Um, I'll ask my IT guy to change it as I wouldn't know how. <laughs> Where we mix. Yeah, so um, I'll talk more about the... I'll, obviously, I have to do a little bit of a promo at the end. Um, I'll show what we're going to be doing in the next class, which is coming up um, this Thursday. When is the first? On Thursday, yes. So on the 1st of Ju July, we're going to have our next online class. It's only going to be one evening and um, it costs £10. So I wrap my finger in a cloth and then I apply the wax like this on the edges my tags are very very hot I should probably wait for them to cool down while I'm waiting to cool down I may as well show you so this is what we're gonna do in the next class this is the canvas that I made as a sample for the next class um, so we're gonna be learning all about so decoupage with rice paper um, and we're going to be creating this like really interesting um, textured background that's not really a background it's more of a foreground but it kind of ties in with the um, image so we're going to be doing a lot of stenciling there's a lot of different textures going on with different pastes we're going to be talking about different options um, for um, what you can use um, if you don't have this, if you don't have that and all of that kind of stuff. We're also going to be using liquid acrylics. So all of this was um, colored in with um, liquid acrylics. So we're going to be using that. We're going to be using some wax. Um, so it's not going to be like a, um, one of my bigger workshops that are like uh, three days long where we talk about a lot of different techniques over the course of three days um, while we create something big. Um, this is um, very much like a condensed, um, shorter workshop um where we're going to create a canvas and of course you know i'm gonna show you how to create this and then you should be able to take this knowledge that i give you um, and apply it to any other canvas that you may want to create regardless of the style and regardless of the color scheme that you want to do um, if you are interested in the workshop and would like to take part then um, the link is in the description of this video is this cooled down yes okay cool enough now we can go back um Oh, that's okay. It's good to see you back, Terry. We're um, not finished just yet. We have a little bit left. Um, <laughs> thank you. Me too, Claire. Um, Sheltie, it just joined. These look familiar. I buy the wooden tags from Amazon, print vintage images on tissue paper and decoupage them on to create personalized gift tags each year. Is that what we're doing here? Uh, well, pretty much, yes. Yeah. So these tags um, are not from Amazon. They were cut out by my sister. She um, has a shop on Etsy where she sells different stuff cut out from um, cut out on laser um, cutting machine. Um, and she sells these tags alongside with a lot of other kind of crafty things um, or craft bases. I need to make sure that we do both sides as well because um, when you're taking care of one side, you're like also applying wax onto the other. And if you forget about that, you can create a real mess. So anyways, um, yeah, so these tags are from my sister, but yeah, basically I took a napkin, a decoupage napkin. I did not print it myself. I, um, I lean from the comments here. Um, a friend uh, sent this napkin to me. So I decoupaged it onto the tags and now they can be, well, they could be personalized. You could write somebody's name on them and 
or like if you have a Cricut machine um, and all of that but yeah so that is basically what we're doing over here creating some tags thank you Leanne uh hi may yeah we're um pretty much getting to the end now so if you um if you want to see it from the beginning you may have to come back print names on the side and antique christmas card images on the other side yeah yeah that's um pretty much very close to what we're doing over here except that i'm using a pre-printed uh, napkin and as you can see I on the back I just painted it but of course if you wanted to you could um, do it in whichever way you wanted to okay so the good thing with like the wax is that you can fade it out like this and you can create a nice shady um, edge again it makes it look more vintage Thought I had this image but not so sure now. Signed up for this week's workshop and I was thinking, what are you doing this week? Um you mean like other than than the workshop? Um I don't really have much um much else going on this week. Um this live stream now and then we're gonna do the workshop on Thursday. Um yeah and that's that's it really i don't have any other streams planned at the moment but who knows i may surprise you with the with a live stream on a saturday or something <laughs> but i don't really know yet depends on how my week goes you guys you know what i did yesterday i dug up half of my garden <laughs> so we have this bit where um the previous uh, people that lived in this house, they um, wanted to pave the bit, so they killed off all of the grass. And we don't want to pave it, so we're like trying to regrow the grass over there. Um, so there was like this dead patch of grass that started growing over with weeds and stuff. So we killed all of the weeds, and then yesterday I uh, spent like two hours digging the whole thing up with pitchforks. We went and bought some um, a rake today because we didn't have one because obviously we only just um, we've never lived in a house with a garden um, so you know we have to buy everything but yeah yesterday I was busy, busy digging up the garden <laughs> and I can really feel it in my back today yeah as in like not in a bad way but like my my muscles my arms and my and my back um can really feel it which is you know what um like part of me wishes that i had more of that garden to dig up because it was good exercise i probably sound like a crazy person now ignore me okay um Made it Friday hoping to get that workshop and vintage box workshop board. Well, Evelyn, drop me a message. Um, if you want to just get in in advance, that's um, that's fine. Um, you know, I've I've known you long enough to be able to <laughs> to do that. I'll I tell you, mine look ahead of a lot better without a glaze afterwards i have also put glitter around the outer edge which makes a total mess um yeah um glitter can make um, yeah which is why i've never really been a huge fan of glitter and i'll tell you i didn't even have any glitter until i joined finnabar team and um in my design team box they sent me a load of glitter and i was like well now what do i do with it i have it so i'm gonna i guess i'm gonna have to use it and then i started using it and then i went through a phase where i couldn't stop because it was just so shiny and pretty <laughs> 
it um they they hacked me they tapped into my um uh my magpie brain <laughs> and i was like ooh shiny <laughs> for about six months i've calmed down now i don't use glitter as much um but yeah oh you guys i can't wait for um for more christmas projects so i can um so i can start using snow paste and uh, crushed ice paste again and not uh, look like a total psychopath um i wish it was more acceptable to just do christmas projects all year round no time to do the classes by the winter yeah you can the good thing is that you can save them excited to have this rice paper but wants to create something great with this so this will be perfect good good so look at stamperia <laughs> oh that's okay oh um jo, jo um has um this rice paper um she may be able to send it to you if you want um because that's what i had to do um when i sat down to do this workshop i realized i only have one copy of this paper so i had to um and i knew that if i ordered it directly from decoupage queen um because obviously she's in the us uh it probably wouldn't have got here on time so i instead contacted joe and luckily she had one in stock as joe uh from um craft of hearts she's also in wales um she is a retailer for decoupage queen papers so um she has it if you drop her a message she may be able to get one to you uh We'll rewatch for sure. Love your tags. Oh, thank you, May. Need your sister to move to your West, please. <laughs> Great tags to decorate Easter candles we're using in churches. That is very true. That is very true. I didn't even think about that, you know. But yeah, these kind of um, tags would look great um, as um, as like a decoration around a candle. Are you definitely going to do a live this weekend? I don't know why. Um, um, do I... Is there something else? Oh! Oh! Oh, crap! Oh, yes. Now I remember. I foresee, I say, yeah, I'll do it. And then I forget about it. It's because I didn't write it down. Um, yes, I'll probably, if you are doing the... Because Leanne is a part of the um, Together We Are Stronger um, YouTube live stream. Um, is it like a hop collaboration? It's basically a thing where um, on, a, on a Saturday, there's a lot of mixed media and artists that kind of get together and they do live streams all day on Saturday. And we kind of, um, they organize it so that um, they go one after another, not at the same time. And I did say that I was going to do it. <laughs> this saturday so there's gonna be a live stream on um on here this saturday i don't know what we're gonna do yet but yeah i said that i will do it because i I've, I've been wanting to do it but i haven't really had the chance um up until now so i don't know what we're gonna do this saturday but there's gonna be a live stream on my channel i don't know if it's gonna be just me or if it's gonna be me with somebody maybe like leanne at the same time but um like you know a split screen live stream i don't know but blah, 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 i will figure it out uh boy i just got mail my first dress you are oh good 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 you enjoy them they're really fun to play with Got everyone mad at me one Christmas because glitter got on everything. Oh, yes. 
Yes, you would not be very popular with my partner. He hates glitter. <laughs> and you know what? The funny thing is that last Christmas we went and bought a brand new Christmas tree and we went to the shop together and he picked it out himself and he said, yes, we'll get it. And he carried it to the till, he paid for it. He brought it home and then he realized that it had glitter all over it. <laughs> So, I mean, um, it's funny, but I did have to pretty much set it up by myself because <laughs> he could not cope with the amount of glitter that was getting onto him. Um, yeah, glitter is very controversial. Okay, so now we need uh, some kind of string. I'm tempted to just put a... Um, to just hang them on some, um, what you call it, jute string. Jute goes with shabby chic, doesn't it? Um, we do have enough, enough baubles. Sorry, I've missed so many comments because I keep talking a lot. I have this foot for a tall jewelry mirror thing and I wanted to try transfers on it. I'm so excited it came out of an apartment fire, so I smoke damage, so I have to clean it up first. Yeah, make sure that you, um, with dress my, craft, uh, dress my Craft transfers, you're gonna have to do some fussy cutting around the edges to make them look nice uh, on a mirror. I uh, wouldn't hurt my feelings any if you did Christmas all year long. <laughs> I know, I'm tempted to start um, doing Christmassy things here on the channel. Um, I think once we get into July, uh, it'll be official. I'll be just, um, I'll start doing more Christmassy things. Uh, new obsession is decoupage and over gold leaf, then using crackle glaze. I've been hunting for things all over the house for gold to gold leaf. Oh, wow, I've never tried that. That sounds fun. <laughs> That's a mom, right? <laughs> Uh, have I missed something? Who's a man? Um, okay, I missed something. Hi, Patricia. Gonna put them on the um, would not mirror. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Need to go. Thank you for a great life. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Catherine. It was lovely seeing you. Okay, so. I've got some jute here. I'm tempted to add some, um, not liquid pearls, but um, what do you call it? Um, 3D outliner here and there in a few places, maybe like a few dots here and there. Right, okay, first we need to cut off some string. Okay, so one. Two, three, and four. Wow, yeah, I've never tried that. That sounds fun. Got a run, this was very nice, thank you. Well, thank you for joining us, Evelyn. Yes, and come back again, definitely. It was fun having you here. Right, Ugh, these holes are super tiny, so, because I always like to um, double the string up like that and then just kind of wrap it through. Can I do it? Oh, please let me do it. I don't want to mess around with the, with the sellotape and poke it through and do all of that. Come on, there we go. We're in. Right. Jude string is on. Yes, we'll add a little bit of uh, pearled, pearled colored um, 3D um, rel, 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 what do you call it? Outliner. Gosh, we've been going for an hour and a half already. 
often realize. Time flies by when you're having fun. I love these live streams, you know, that um, I've been doing here on the channel lately. It's, um, it's been bringing me so much more joy than just doing the pre-recorded videos. Um, even though, obviously, I know there's still a place for pre-recorded videos and they're going to happen every now and then, especially when I have a design team project um, that, you know, um, that I'm doing because I do um, pre-recorded videos for them anyway, so I may as well upload it here on the channel so that if anybody's interested, you can watch it. But um, this is, these live streams are so much fun. <laughs> so much more fun than um, just normal videos. Okay, so I've got some pearly pearlies here. Test it out. Yep, yeah, it's working. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, two hour live or recording an eight hour editing. It's a no brainer, right? So I'm just going to add a few dots here and there. Okay, that'll do because I don't want to overdo it. I hope that you can see what I'm doing. Can't wait to go back and watch the whole thing. It's Christmas projects year round would be cool. Yeah, I think we need to do more of them. I'm itching to get back into Christmas stuff. Okay. Oh, these are these turned out so cute. I haven't done such like you know your Typical proper um, napkin decoupage um, in so long. I've been really um, enjoying mixed media a lot lately. Um, and those of you that follow the channel would have seen it. That I've been doing a lot of mixed media and more traditional mixed media projects. Mm -hmm. And um, Again, because I'm kind of like discovering a new thing and I'm learning about it and I'm having fun. But it's nice to kind of go back to where you started from and just do a little bit of um, a pretty vintage thing like this. Um, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like this live stream nice and interactive. Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad that you guys love the um, live streams too. Would be great for leftover pieces of napkins. Yes, exactly. Or rice paper. Because we all have... Um, anybody that works with rice paper, um, we usually have rice paper leftovers. <laughs> So these are great for using up your leftovers because they're so tiny. Um, oh, thank you, Terry. I really wish that I was able to kind of like film the furniture pieces a bit more um, and show them off in like a more of a, you know, tutorial way and stuff like that. But it's just oh, so much. It's so much more difficult for me to film it all than... Um, just filming at my desk just started this journey so nothing for christmas last year this year i want to do a lot more and perhaps get to a couple of christmas craft fairs oh that would be so nice you know and i'm um I'm, i've signed up for a christmas craft fair it was supposed to be um a craft fair last christmas it was supposed to be in last november but because of the lockdown here that um happened in november that kind of got postponed, so I just said, okay, uh, move my payment over to next Christmas. <laughs> so I've already signed up for one. You need to do two. Tags, that's all from, um, it's the large hobby craft one. These are, yeah, they're very, very pretty, the small ones. 
all tags are beautiful. <laughs> we don't discriminate. I know, it's never too early to start getting ready for Christmas. Never. Been in Christmas since the month of May, making cards for sick children for Christmas. Hospital in Montreal. Oh, that's so kind of you. That is so sweet. That is really, really kind of you. You're a beautiful person. We all have that box of pieces. Yes, we do. Never throw our my scraps. <laughs> yeah, and it's more, um, Terry, it's more to do with the fact that the furniture pieces get done in like tiny little um, snippets here and there. So like I'll do five minutes in the morning, then five minutes after I've, um, after I've had my lunch and then, you know, like these kind of, and then um, if I also have to set the camera up, set the light up and everything, then that's like my five minutes gone and then I haven't done anything. So it's, um, yeah, they are very simple, but beautiful. Need someone to video when you're doing furniture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I need an assistant. <laughs> Oh, you're going to do a crafter next year. Wow. Well, congratulations. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. Okay. Right. I've caught up with the comments. Right. I'm going to blah, 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 test you guys back up here. And ta-da. Here are the tags. They are super, super cute. They came out really so vintage and so cute. Um, obviously, the light doesn't really do... Um, it just this. I'm gonna uh, take some good pictures and post them up on my social media and stuff um, tomorrow. Oh, here it is. Look, there's another piece that I'm currently working on. Um, I'm taking off the paint. And <laughs> I'm literally, the, uh, uh, you know, whenever I have five minutes spare, I'll come up and I'll do a bit of <laughs> scraping <laughs> for five minutes. And then, you know, that that's it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining uh, me for this live and creating these really, really cute little tags with me. Oh, you enjoy your trip to Hobby Lobby. Um, enjoy it. Cinema <laughs> a sofa now. Oh, I know. Yeah, I do have a sofa now. Um, um, Claire, you, you can come over. <laughs> you can come over now um yeah again um if you haven't signed up for the workshop and you would like to um and then uh, the link is in the description below um it's on thursday this thursday 8 30 p.m uk time so same time as this live stream started um on thursday but yeah thank you so much for joining me i will see you guys in the workshop and if not then probably on saturday in another live stream okay um bye